Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books. I'm very excited today because I have a special guest, 12-year-old Canadian book lover and YouTuber, Wild Willie. Wild Willie's reviews focus on Canadian authors, especially ones in Atlantic Canada. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Willie. Thank you very much for having me. It's my pleasure. Now, I should ask you before we even get going here, should I call you Willie or Wild Willie? It doesn't matter. Whatever's easier. <laughs> and where did the name Wild Willie come from? Is there a story behind this? Well, I was so I always wanted to have a YouTube channel from when I was young, and we kind of thought of this idea to review books and one of my other like channel ideas was to do like kind of just everything which I have another channel too which is just for whatever mm -hmm. and I just thought Wild Willie would kind of be cool because my name is William and yeah it was at the time it was just kind of a crazy idea so I thought it's kind of a perfect name to match the channel. Yeah, it is indeed. Now, Willie, you were 10 years old when you came when you came to this conclusion that you needed a YouTube channel. That is crazy. <laughs> Was it hard for you to do the technology behind it or did you just kind of launch into it? I think I kind of like I got the idea. I created the channel like one night and the next day I just started a video to kind of see how it went and just rolled with it. Of course you did. I should probably get you to help me with my technology. <laughs> You're probably better at it than me. <laughs> um, so Willie, I mean, this, this love of books that you've had, you've obviously had it for a long time. How old were you when you discovered books? I think like as soon as I was able to read or like even able to like enjoy picture books and stuff like that I always was reading like I remember when I was like four or something I think I was like on the couch reading with my parents and my mom was an author and she wrote children's books at that time so I would kind of read her books and that kind of got me a lot more interested in reading. That Okay and in your opinion Wild Willie what makes a fabulous book? I think it's kind of like being able to picture what's happening and then you don't really feel like, like when you're reading, you don't feel like you're forced to read. It's like you want to read and you actually are enjoying the book and not like, I don't want to be doing this because then you don't actually read it and then it's not as interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, besides your mom's books, what genre really pulls you in? I really like kind of fiction and also biographies about sports players and stuff. Yeah. And I really just enjoy reading kind of any type of sports book as well. Yeah. So how many books would you read a week? It kind of depends because I have some authors that are sending me books and yeah. sometimes they're bigger, sometimes they're like children's books. So it kind of depends on what I'm reading, but I'd say on average, like around three books a week, depending on their size. Oh, good for you. And like, how many author interviews would you be doing a week as well? Well, it's kind of slowed down now because I have a bunch of books that I'm reading. And then like I say, I get three books from an author. I read all of those and then I interview the author. So it's kind of slowing down, but I normally try and do like one a week or one every couple of weeks. That's pretty amazing. And you, I mean, you've talked with some really big Canadian author names. Like I noticed that um, Lawrence Hill is one of the authors that you spoke to. Um, do you have, in all the interviews that you've done, is there one that stands out as being particularly special or memorable? I think, well, when I started interviewing, it was just, I was at Read by the Sea, which is a literary festival in Nova Scotia. And I just remember thinking, how cool would it be if I could interview all the authors? And there was three authors there at that time. So I just went up to them. And one of my first ever interviews was Wesley King. And it was just really interesting to talk to him. And that was my first ever interview. So I just think that kind of really stuck out because it kind of started a whole new kind of chapter of my YouTube channel. Yeah. And yeah, it was just really cool. 
if you could interview um, any author right now, who would it be? Who would be your dream author? That is a good question. I know there's a bunch of ones that I definitely want to do, but I don't really think that I have one in particular that would really be my favorite. I know I have a bunch of ones that I have on my shelf that I always like when I read a book, I'm like, oh, this would be a really cool author to interview. Like I like their style of writing and whatever, but I don't really think I ever just choose one author and then just stick to that. Although I do like, like I read a lot of sports players have books I find. So I would like to interview some of them, but I mean, that's kind of just more in the future, I guess. Yeah. So you also play sports too. Yeah. I play uh, baseball and just getting into basketball now. Okay. So Willie, I don't know how you spend, like how you sleep because you're so busy. You've got school, you've got sports, you're reading and you're doing all of these interviews. (laughs) I think you're organized. I mean, I'm not that organized, but I mean, I, I wake up and I normally stay in bed for about 15 minutes just to read. And then I liked, I find I like to read at night a lot more. So like later in the night when there's no kind of like distractions or nothing to do. So I find that's when I read the most kind of typically. Yeah. And for someone who reads so much, um, are you interested in being a writer too or? I definitely am interested in being an author. I do kind of want to be a sports player too when I grow up like baseball or basketball. So it's kind of hard to balance it, but I definitely do want to write some books and I have written some books kind of like I did a choose your own adventure on my YouTube channel, which I'm looking to continue. And I also, I wrote a couple of books for like contests and stuff, which ended up winning me some prizes and yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And what I really love is that you focus on Canadian authors, in particular, Atlantic authors. Was that something that you decided right off the hop that you were going to do or? I think I, like I said, my first interview was in Canada. So I thought it would be cool to kind of interview Canadian authors and Atlantic Canadian authors kind of that are close to me. So that way I could maybe see them in person and stuff like that. I do love to read and interview and review books from non-Canadian authors too, but I just thought it would kind of be cool to highlight authors from kind of where I live. So, Yeah, no, I love that. I think that's really great. And that's one of the things I really admire about your channel too. Very, very cool. Now, you as an avid reader, I would love if you could give our viewers, I know it's hard, but three book recommendations. I think for sure, if I'm mentioning a series, I have to do Dragon's Assassin, which I'm reading right now. And it is an amazing book. I cannot stop reading it. There's like seven books at least in the series, I know. And they're all really amazing. They're, there's kind of like three books in each book, which makes it kind of interesting. But it's about a girl who went to a school and she kind of... Her, she had a brother and her brother ended up killing all the all of her friends in her school. And then she met up with a dragon and tried to take him down. And yeah, it's just a kind of a really adventure packed series for sure. Yeah. And sorry, Willie, who did you say was the author of that series? Uh, I believe it was Wesley King. I can go check that for you if you would like. Actually, here. Gotta love the technology, eh? <laughs> It was Arthur Slade, actually. Okay, okay, perfect. And Uh another one that I definitely recommend is Beatrice and Croc Harry by Lawrence Hill. Mm -hmm. That was a really good book that I loved reading and I loved reviewing. And it was also very nice to meet Lawrence Hill at Read by the Sea. Um, There's, I kind of liked the... I forget who it was written by, but it was a biography on Kobe Bryant. And it was really interesting mm-hmm. kind of how he started his career and um, kind of how he followed through and made it through to the NBA. And 
really just any book that you pick up that you think you might enjoy I definitely recommend just to give it a try and if there's always if you don't like it you can always find another one and go to your library and whatever oh I love that great pitch for people to read (laughs) love it Okay, so for our viewers, I will put links down below in the description box so that you can go to Wild Willie's channel, check out all his author interviews and also the excursions that you go on as well. And please subscribe while you're there, very important. (laughs) And for viewers as well, please come back in a couple weeks because I will have more author interviews and you don't want to miss out. So stay tuned, everyone. And thank you, Wild Willie, for being a guest on the program. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's my absolute pleasure. Thanks, everyone. Bye.